Welcome to the semifinals of the 2024 World Crokinole Championships. We've been doing battle all day long and it boils down to the top four competitors. In this semifinal match, we have Justin Slater against Connor Ryman. In the other semifinal match, we have Andrew Hutchinson against Josh Carfiello. Sure to be some tremendous battles here to see who will be crowned the 2024 World Crokinole Champion. This is also an NCA event, and in fact, the beginning of the 2024-2025 NCA season, National Crokinole Association. Getting to the action here now. Ryman first to miss. Slater with a nice defensive positioning. Probably would like to have lost the opponent, but Ryman takes care of that for him. Tricky position, tried to squeeze his disc through there and didn't quite make it. Slater gives himself a nice lead with a 20 and opportunity to extend that up to 20. Also has the hammer, so Slater in a very strong position in this first round. Neither player able to convert on these discs around that center hole. We'll see if Slater able to work with this one. If he does, that will clinch the round. He gets it. Last two shots inconsequential. First two points go to Justin Slater. The format used at the World Crokinole Championships when it comes down to semifinals and finals is the best two out of three in races to five. So they will play until a player is a race to five and wins, switch sides and play again. And uh, one of these players will need to win two of those in order to move on to the finals. This is more what we're accustomed to seeing out of these two. 20s battle back and forth. Slater first to miss, comes up short. Ryman makes him pay for that. Slater overcorrects, just barely long on that next offering. I don't know if Ryman was pushing for the 20, but I'm guessing he's pretty happy with this position. Slater going for it, going for that follow through 20, jammed up. Ryman would like to have had that 20, I'm sure, but he's still in a pretty darn good position here. Up a 20 with the hammer. <laughs> Player's having a bit of a chuckle about something. I'm not sure what's going on there, but... Uh, Oh, beautiful take up by Ryman. I wish we had the bird's eye view on that shot because that was uh, that was some tight business there. Now, same thing, last couple shots of this round, inconsequential. This match knotted up two points each. Ryman first to act. Back and forth in the 20 cup, a lot of pressure. The deeper into the round it gets, the more uh, the more painful it is if you're the first to miss. If it's very first shot, you don't, you of course don't like it, but you got lots of time to uh, to battle your way back. But uh, let's say one of them is to miss at this point. There's not much time to uh, to make that up. And they know that, so they're just not missing. And here it is, we've seen these guys do it before, a double perfect round. Not very exciting, although uh, Fred Slater in the background there seems excited about it. He appreciates that knowing just how tough that is to do. The pressure just builds and builds and builds. Here we are knotted up three points each in this race to five. Slater, first to miss, goes long. That's probably a little closer than Ryman would like to go, but not, uh, not too bad. This time we'll see if he's able to stay back. He is. It's back where Slater may be able to utilize those pegs. Not quite catching the right angle there. Let's see. Does he go offense or defense? Oh, he went offense. Great bid. He 
huge round right now. Sweet. I did not think that was there. Double takeout 20. Ryman goes long, but he still has hammer, so he's in decent position here. Not what he wanted, but at least he's forcing Ryman to shoot through the pegs. Makes easy work of it. Did he leave him an angle? He's checking it out. That's all he's got. He needs a hide or a 20, and yeah, my, my hunch is he's going for the 20. Didn't need it. All he needed was the takeout. Here's that double takeout 20. Look at this. Splits those two red discs. Drops the black. Money. Absolute money shot. TSN turning point of the game right there. And that was game one going to Ryman in this best two out of three. As I say, the players switch sides. They get a few minutes to uh, get a few practice shots, get dialed in. Yeah, they switch button colors too. So our, uh, our scorecard is off there. Apologize for that, but hopefully you're able to track along. Slater doesn't secure the takeout, but you hear Ryman saying, come on, because that red disc is so close to the center hole, it forces him to go through his own to take away that uh, easy setup that Slater had waiting for him. Again, let's see if Ryman goes offense or defense. Guessing he's looking at that. He doesn't feel like he can get the off and the 20. Looks like he's playing defense. Ooh, accidental genius right there. I don't think... Ah, Slater definitely wanted that gone. Ryman playing possum on his side of the board. Oh. Maybe a little loss of focus there. Ryman takes a commanding lead in the first round of this second match. Second game, I should say. Inconsequential shots. Ryman still shoots Hogan's Alley. Here we go. That may look simple, but that was a money shot right there. Leaving the opponent's disc on, it forced Slater to try to peel everything, and it was a really tough position for him to do that. If you're looking in the background here, you're seeing lots of cameras. This gentleman here coming in for some nice pictures. He is from a CBC. You also saw the TVO camera crew. Crokinole is starting to get more and more. Some would say the attention it deserves. And uh, what a great thing for them to come to and get some footage of. But the 2024 World Crokinole Championships. Oh, Slater first to miss. That could be costly. Ryman makes him pay for it. That was a heavy hanger, but he pushed through and got it. All Slater can do now is wait for a miss out of Ryman. Definitely not Ryman's favorite pastime, missing open 20s, although he gets one there. Opens the door a sliver for Slater. Slater needs to follow through 20 to tie this round. Oh, great push. Came up a little short. Great shot right there. Great highlight. Ryman up 4-0 in this race to five. Slater under all kinds of pressure against the hammer. You think 20s are easy. Put yourself in this position. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how you would simulate this, but if you could put that kind of pressure on yourself and then sit down and see what your open 20 percentage is. Slater first to miss. Ryman with a fantastic roll. Slater maybe ought to carve this. Uh, I was going to say he did not have a line at the 20. I wondered if he was going to be able to carve it back into the house. Oh, Ryman loses his shooter. Still in a fantastic position here. Slater, okay, here it is. This is open 20 is to move on to the finals, and he misses. Oh, simulate that position and see what your percentages are. 
We're showing that as a highlight, but I think that was, uh, maybe that was what he intended. Who knows? All right, 4-2 for Ryman. Missed an opportunity to clinch that there. This time Slater with the hammer and Ryman first to miss. Slater's still under a lot of pressure. Even a tie in this round would end the match. See Slater moving on to the third place match and Ryman moving on to the finals. Something I've seen less experienced players uh, lose track of is in a situation like that, not uh, going for the win in a round when all they really needed was a tie. So it's all the whole situational awareness, just like remembering whose hammer it is. It's a part of being a skilled, oh, 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 skilled player. So is a shot like that. That was a fantastic roll in. Right back to business of open 20 sinking. Right there. He just secured it. The best Slater can do is a tie. Friendly handshake. Great battle between two of the best in the game right now. Connor Ryman moving on to the 2024 World Crokinole right here. This is a money shot. That angle in 20 was huge. Huge. Thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. Come back and watch the finals and all the other action. We've got tons of action from the World Crokinole Championships this year. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Pump up that view count. Help give Crokinole the attention it deserves. And most importantly, make it a great day.